Hi, I'm Katie and I'm going to show you how to create the WooCommerce order form that you can see here. At the end of this tutorial, you will know how to use the WooCommerce product table plugin to create an order form just like this one. Your WooCommerce products will each be listed as a separate row in the table. There will be filters above the table which let you filter the table to find different types of products. Um, there will be various columns in the table and I will choose you how to choose which columns appear. They don't have to be exactly like this. Um, you can click on the different categories to filter the table for different products. And um, you can also select a quantity and add to cart. And I'll also give you tips on how to add further features to your table, such as the ability to select variable products from the table. So if you had a small, medium and a large version of this t-shirt, you would be able to have a small, medium and large drop down to choose which variation you would want. So let's get started. This is a normal WordPress website and I'm going to go into the dashboard now. Um, in the dashboard, the two plugins you need in the plugin section are WooCommerce itself, which powers your e-commerce facility. Uh, so there's WooCommerce and also WooCommerce product table. You can ignore the other plugins I've got installed. These are the two that you need to implement this tutorial. And before you start, set up WooCommerce in the usual way. There's tons of resources on how to do that. And uh, you also need to add your products and divide them into categories in the usual way in the product section. All of that is standard WooCommerce stuff. And what we're featuring in this tutorial is how to um, build on that by creating a product table, which you will use as your order form in WooCommerce. So you've got WooCommerce, you've got some products, and the next step is to create an order form. To do that, you would probably want to add it to a page. So let's go to pages, add new. You can also add your order form to page posts or text widgets or wherever else you add content, but most people are going to add it to a page. So we'll do that here. And let's just call it order form. You can call it whatever you like. You can add any content you like to the page. You can have text above or below your order form. And you can also add subheadings and have different order forms. So you might want one for each category. But for this tutorial, we'll keep it simple and just create one order form like the example I showed you earlier. We're now going to add a short code, which is, comes from the WooCommerce product table plugin. And that is what will display your products as an order form. You open square brackets just here and then you write product underscore table. And next, um, you might want to ignore this next bit, but I'm going to tell it to show specific categories products only. And to do that, I'm going to go categories, no, category, sorry, equals. And then in quotation marks, I want category 73, 85 and 86 to show in my um, order form. And you can find out the category name. I'll just show you how to do that now. So if you go to products categories, then if I hover over a category, can you see right at the bottom of my screen, there's a really long URL, which is for the category page. Um, and can you see that it says in the middle, tag ID equals 73. That is the ID of your category. And so if you want to show specific categories only in your order form, then you just go to the category page, have a look, hover over it and have a look at the uh, link that in the bottom. And then that tells you the ID. So. Let's go back to that's where I got 73 from. So category equals whatever categories you want to show. If you just completely ignore this bit, that's fine. Um, just product table will show all the products in all your categories, or you can just show specific categories. And that's what I'm doing. Next, I'm going to tell the order form what columns I want to display. Uh, so I write columns equals, and then open quotation marks, and I would like my product featured image to display. So I'm going to type image. I also want the product name. I'm sure you'll want the product name to display as well. I want the short description. This short description is um, one of the fields that you get for all WooCommerce products. There's a main description, which is here, where you would just write description. And if you want the short description, which is lower down the page to display, then you would have short dash description. If you look at the documentation, you can see all the different options for what columns you can have on your order form. 
I also want a categories column, a price column, and add dash to dash cart column, if I spell it correctly. There. Nope. Right. So this will tell the order form to display columns for the image, the product name, the short description, a list of any categories it's in, the price, and add to cart. And let's just save that now and you can see where we've got so far. So I'm going to publish my page and then I'm going to go view page. Right, so let's scroll down. So this is our order form so far. Looks pretty good already. You've got all the different columns that I asked it to. And if you look at the documentation, it will tell you how to rename these if you want to rename the columns. You can choose how many display on each page and it changes the table accordingly. Um, and it's got a search box. You can add the products to the cart directly from the order form. Um, but it's not exactly how I think you want an order form yet. So for example, you can't choose how many of each product you want. Obviously that could reduce your sales. So you, for most WooCommerce store order forms, you would want it to allow customers to choose multiple products. So I might want two Black Ninja hoodies. So I'll show you how to do that. And um, another thing is that at the moment you can click on a product to take you through to the single product page. You may well want that, but a lot of order forms only want you to be able to view what's on the order form and not click through. So I will also show you how to disable those links so that the order form is the only place that people can read information about your products. Let's do that now. So back to the page where we added the short code. Um, now before the close brackets, I'm going to add some more stuff. I'm going to do show underscore quantity equals and then in quotation marks true like that that is going to add a quantity selector next to the add to cart button so that people can choose how many of each product they want and i'm also going to add some filters above the table um, i'll just go back at the moment you, it's, you can choose how many products appear but you can't there is no drop down filter for categories or tags or whatever so um, i'll show you how to do that so in the short code, you write filters equals, and then in quotation marks, true. And that will add filters for whatever can be filtered. So if you've got tags and categories, you might be showing product attributes in the table. You can have filters for all of those things. And so um, we've, that's how to add filters. And I'm gonna show you how to do links next. So we've got links equals, and there's two options here. If you write none, it will disable all the links in the table. And I'll show you that first. So I'm just updating the page and refreshing it so that you can see. Um, so this has disabled the links. You can no longer click on the product name, but that's also disabled some of the other links, which I think is a shame. So previously you could click on a category in the list to filter by that category, and now that's disabled. So I'll show you how to switch that back on. And since the last change we made, you can see there's also a filter drop down with categories. And as I said a minute ago, if you're showing tags or attributes, you can choose what filters display. So you can either have filters equals true, which displays all possible filters, or you can have, um, you can actually list which filters you want. So use the documentation for how to do that. So for now, uh, we're going to replace none for the links option with categories and I'll show you what that does. So that's telling it to only add links for categories. So I'll refresh my page again and see how we still have no link to the product page, which is what we wanted for an order form. But now you can click on the different items again to filter by that. So everything still takes place on your order form. People can't click to any single product pages or anything, but it's just adds some more interactivity to the table. And that's it. We've created a complete order form. And um, I think this is a common way you might want to use it. Use the documentation to set it up exactly to your requirements. You might want different columns displaying. You might want to rename the columns. You might want to show variations within your table or columns for attributes or something like that. So have fun playing around and seeing what you can do with your WooCommerce order form.